guys, I'm introducing my new YouTube series today, Best Wines Under $20. So basically, really delicious wines for the price that you should totally drink. We're also gonna talk about some of the coolest things that you should know about them. This episode, I'll be sharing three white wines for summer that you need to have in your fridge for those blazing hot Saturdays or Mondays when you just need a wine. And don't forget, if you find this video helpful, to like and subscribe below for more wine recommendations and wine chat right here every Thursday. So let's get our first wine. Introducing the first wine of this series, this 2017 Pusey Vale Riesling from Eden Valley, Australia for around $15. First off, Pusey Vale is in South Australia and is the name of both the vineyard and the producer within Eden Valley. If you remember anything about Eden Valley, remember that this region is really well known for making outstanding dry Rieslings. Pusey Vale Vineyard was literally the first vineyard in Eden Valley and the first vineyard to plant Riesling in all of Australia back in 1847. The vines here are planted at over 1600 feet and higher elevation creates larger temperature variation from day to night, which evens the ripening of the grapes and retains the acidity for better quality. Pusey Vale is now planted 100% Riesling and they are a classic example of Eden Valley. All right, so let's taste it. Wine's got a lot of dried herbs, white flowers, lime zest on the nose, and tastes like grapefruit, tropical fruit, and rosemary. It's completely dry and the acid is erasing. It's got a lot going on here for only $15. This would pair so perfectly with Chinese takeout, Thai food, seafood dishes, or even with like a salad with a vinaigrette dressing. All right, we're on to wine number two. Okay, wine number two under $20. Introducing this 2019 Pine Ridge Chenin Blanc and Viognier Blend. All right, you guys, this is another solid bottle and it's only about $13. Pine Ridge Vineyard is a classic Napa Valley winery that's been making iconic Cab Sauv from the Stag's Leap District since the late 70s. And now they bring us this gem. The grapes for this wine are grown in the Clarksburg AVA, which is about 20 minutes from downtown Sacramento. And the growing region itself is located on the Sacramento River. All right, so I did a little digging about this AVA and found that in terms of degree days from day to evening temperature, it's been statistically comparable to Napa, Sonoma, and Paso Robles, which is why this maritime AVA consistently makes solid wines, but at a much lower price. All right, so what makes Clarkburg special? Well, it's just inland from the Sacramento River Delta, which channels cold air and fog in from the Pacific Ocean. Just like it does in Napa, this creates a cooling effect, which helps retain the acidity in these grapes while still achieving full ripeness. And that is why Chenin Blanc does so great here. It keeps a raising high acidity while still having the ripeness to add layers of complexity. All right, so here's a wine fact for you. Chenin Blanc and Viognier are what's referred to as aromatic varietals. They're called this because they give off higher amounts of natural aromas. So these wines tend to have floral characteristics and this wine really speaks to that. So let's taste wine number two. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is such a pretty wine. I get those floral tones like honeysuckle and orange blossom that literally just jump out of the glass. There's a lot of white peach and grapefruit. Definitely a high acid wine thanks to that river delta. There's also some ginger and green apple that are coming out, and it's only $12. You literally get something different every time you smell it, which is amazing for the price. All right, here we go. Wine number three. This is a 2018 Domaine Vacao Federspiel Gruner Veltliner for around $15. All right, guys, I have a secret for you. If Austrian wine is not on your list yet, it totally needs to be. The wines are extremely high quality and really great value. Actually, in a really popular book called The Sommelier's Atlas of Taste, the authors say that the chances of getting a poorly made wine in Austria are lower than any other place in the world. That is crazy. Gruner Veltliner is the grape Austria is most well known for, but they also make really outstanding dry Rieslings. So if there's one region in Austria you can always count on for great wine, it's the Wachau. This region is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and overlooks the Danube River. The photos of this region are absolutely amazing. Seriously, check out some YouTube videos of this region. Domaine Vacao is one of the best producers in Austria and actually produces wines from every single vineyard site in the Vacao. All right, fun fact. If you're looking at an Austrian wine and see the word Federspiel, it refers to the potential alcohol in the grapes when they are picked. Federspiel wines have the potential alcohol of 11.5 to 12.5% and this one has 12.5%. All right, here we go. Let's taste wine number three. Again, wow. Seriously, so amazing. So much going on for only $14. 
I get white peach, apricot, there's some saline on the nose, and then there's that crisp acidity that is so refreshing in the summer. There's green pear and lime, and would do so well with like a prosciutto and mozzarella or even grilled vegetables out on the barbecue. Seriously, this wine is so freaking good. All right, so I've got all three wines here. What do I think of the three? How are they different? How are they the same? What's going on? How do you compare them? So the first one, the Chenin Blanc from Pine Ridge, this is if you're looking for the floral fruitiness going on. If you smell it, you're like, ooh, flowers. The second one, the Pussy Vale, this is more your lemon lime, apple, high acid. And then the third one, the Vacao, this is more complexity, minerality. So very different wines, but seriously, all so great and beautiful in their own right, and all under $20. Big thank you for watching my first episode of Best Wines Under $20. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe below for more wine recommendations and wine chat in the future. So if you've had any of these wines before, please let me know what you think of them in the comments below. And if you haven't, check out your local wine store or wine.com to fill your fridge with these wines for this summer. Cheers!